everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road in the USA. And today I'm here with another creative team project for Craft A Clock. Look at this layout, there's my family. We play a lot of chess in our house. And this paper collection is perfect. I even made it so the chess pieces move on this layout. So I'm gonna show you how, to, how I made this project. I'm starting with the Age of Gentlemen paper collection from Craft A Clock. This is the 30 and five centimeter by 30 and five centimeter collection. And I'll just give you a quick look at all the different papers. Now I'm also using several of the chipboard die cuts in this collection as well. You get about 37 die cuts in each pack. And it's a nice thick chipboard with printed designs that coordinates with the paper collection. They pop out really, really easily and you can use them for a variety of embellishments. I'm also going to be using the Flowers 23. This coordinates with the collection as well. And in the back of the small paper collection is the perfect piece of paper that comes with extras to cut that have chess pieces. So you start by choosing two of the large papers for your layout. One is going to be the back of the layout and the other is going to be the base page of the layout. So first I'll just cut it down to exactly 30 and 5 centimeters by 30 and 5 centimeters. Now this base page I'm going to cut two and five four centimeters or one inch off two edges. We'll save these pieces for later on in the project. Let me show you on a light background what this will look like. It creates a nice frame for the layout. We'll put the back piece to the side and we're gonna work with this base piece. I already have the pictures that I'm gonna use and I chose to print them in black and white because the color pictures were just too busy for this paper. This is gonna look really good. So what I want to do is to make it so the queen can slide in and put the white king into check. So I'll have to create a diagonal track for the queen to slide. First, I'm going to mark where my pictures will go. I don't want the track to get near the pictures, 
So I'm just eyeballing and then I'll draw one straight line with my ruler. It doesn't really matter how long your line is. Now what I'm gonna do is score 0.64 centimeters or one quarter inch around that line. I could cut it if I want, but I think scoring makes it just a little bit easier. And as you can see, when I, when I score it, you can see right where the lines are and then that's what I'll use as a guide to cut with my craft knife. This little tiny piece that I cut out, I'm definitely going to need to use. And here's how you use it. You lay the base paper down, just like you're going to do it later on. Then you take that little tiny piece and with some double-sided tape, I'm going to hold the layout in place right exactly where I want it to go. And then while I'm holding it still, I put the little piece of paper back into place. That will serve as a guide piece later on and it will also fill the hole because when you pull the queen along on her track later, it will reveal that piece. So I'm using a piece of stiff cardboard. I don't have a measurement for this. I'm just cutting a piece that will be comfortable to pull with my finger. This will be the strip that pulls the queen along her track. I found those pieces that we cut off earlier from the outsides of the base page and I'm going to just adhere them to my piece of cardboard. If you don't cover the cardboard with some nice pattern paper, you're going to see plain cardboard when you pull the queen. I put a little mark through that little track that I cut and now I mark it better and centered with my marker. I'm using a small piece of foam tape
and trying to decide how big to cut my piece of foam tape. It's going to have to be awfully small because the queen is so skinny. I'm trimming off the end of my pull piece because there's no need for it to be any longer at the top. I decided to use some of the chipboard die cuts at this stage especially finding this little small one, which is gonna be perfect for my pull piece. This will give the queen something to rest on and it will be better on top of that double-sided foam tape than just the queen herself. She's a thin piece of paper and the cardboard will give her a nice base. I tried a few different sizes. But I finally decided on the smallest one. Now, I'm going to have to you create a little track here. So I'm just using some cardboard pieces. And see how that will line up there? No matter if the pool is open or closed, you will see pattern paper through it. And that's exactly what we need. Now when it's all the way closed, we don't want the handle to be longer than the scrapbook page. So I'm going to trim off the end. I'm just using a little sandpaper on the edge. As you can see, I had to add several pieces of scrap cardboard on the back to keep my pull piece in place. If I didn't have those cardboard pieces, then my pull piece would just be loose flying around. I had to add other pieces of cardboard to the back or else it wouldn't lay evenly on the paper. Now I can line up my base page with that little tiny piece of paper we used earlier as a guide. And I smooth it out with a piece of plastic. And now my track works perfectly. I did have to take the piece of foam tape off as I was making adjustments, but I'll put it back on now with a new fresh sticky piece. I should mention that the width of my double-sided foam tape is the same as the width of my track that I cut with my craft knife. So if you're using larger tape, you would cut a larger track. And that is how we made the track. It looks really good. I like it a lot. 
Now I can finish making my scrapbook page as I normally would. So I'll place my pictures down. Those are my two sons and my husband. We play a lot of chess in our house, a lot of chess. I don't play chess as well as my husband and my sons, but I'm getting better every game. I added a few more chess pieces and I made sure to place them like it was a real game. This is that piece of cardboard that we cut off of the bottom of the pool piece. So I'm going to use it as an accent up near the pictures and to mount another chipboard die cut. I'm also going to use some of these special occasions quotes three. It has Polish quotes on one side and English quotes on the other. I like the special occasions quotes become, because they come in a variety of colors, all neutral colors, white, gray, brown, and black. And you can choose which color best fits your project. No matter which color of the quotes you choose, they all say the same thing. English on one side and Polish on the other. So I'm choosing several of the quotes that have to do with family time, game time, memories, and that sort of thing. I really like the, this layout a lot. I like the paper so much, that checkered paper, but it's not overpowering. I like that it's got blue as well. My pictures match perfectly. I like that I made the pictures in black and white also to coordinate with the idea of a chess game, the black and white pieces. And if you notice in the picture, there's part of our couch showing, but the pattern of the couch is checkered, which coordinates with the chess board on the paper. That was a happy accident that I didn't notice until later. So right now I'm just arranging the quotes and I'll just use a little bit of glue to glue that chipboard die cut to my little scrap of cardboard and use as an embellishment. Right now I'm using a metal stylus to gently press some of the flowers into a piece of foam and it gives them some shape. Then I use my glue gun to place them on the layout. I don't want to use too many flowers because this layout is more masculine, but the flowers coordinate really well and don't take away from the masculinity of the project. This is always the part of the layout that I like best, embellishing with the flowers and my glue gun. It's so fun. And I enjoy fussy cutting all of the paper flowers and extras to cut from the paper collections. Embellishing doesn't take long at all. So I'm just putting a few of the flowers and leaves into the upper corner and then I'll add a few more in the lower corner as well.
I also like that when the queen piece is in place, it still looks like a great layout. It doesn't need to move to be good. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. And here are some pictures of the finished project. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check the description box for links on where to buy these papers. And thanks so much to Craft the Clock for allowing me to be part of their team. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.